three stages to go in the Acropolis. Kalarov and Perez's two minute overnight lead allowed him to be cautious in the opening tests, focusing his efforts on the Wolf power stage. Eyes then to the battle for second, with five seconds between second place Danny Sordo and Elvin Evans. Evans made a statement through the Tarzan test, nine seconds faster than Sordo. The Welshman moving into second overall. Elvin, that's quicker through by a tenth of a second. That must be a, an approved recce for this stage. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously the big question is how fast Danny is behind. Uh, so, let's see. Oitanic was on fine form. Since his three minute, 40 second penalty on stage four, the Estonian kept pace with the rally leaders, meaning he and Martin Yavioya rose up to fourth position. The duo likely wondering what could have been without their penalty on Friday. The decision we, we made to take the big penalty and then it, it still paid off, so we go to the rally and yeah, still good show. Both Esapeka Lapi and Takamori Katsuda had troubled rallies. Numerous small issues saw both crews bleed time across the opening days and opt for safety through the final three tests, conserving their cars and bringing home important championship points. Car walking very well, but just I was not like uh, use, using uh, this uh, car on, uh, on the limit, so I was uh, a little bit, yeah, not good, but uh, let's see next one in the Chile. Super Rally rules allowed Seb Ogier and Thierry Neuville to restart on Sunday. Their focus switched to taking power stage points. The duo's dramas saw the leading WRC two runners battling for seventh overall, with Gus Greensmith and Andres Mikkelsen both looking for their third wins of the season flying through the rocky roads and taking the fight to the final stage. What a drive from Andreas Mikkelsen, Torstein Eriksson, great job as well. Third win of the year as well. A great drive by Mikkelsen. His third win this season in WRC2, cementing his title bid with three rallies to go. This is a special one. This is really a special one. Uh, after Friday, everything looked so dark and we decided we had nothing to lose. Let's, let's just go for it. Because not very often in WCT you do that, because you need the points from every rally and when you say like, ah, it, we, we go. The Wolf Power Stage closed what has been a dramatic rally in the Acropolis. Evans edged out Sordo for the second step on the podium, with Rovenpera blasting through the final stage, two and a half seconds quicker than Evans, the Finns' third win of the season. After a difficult rally in Finland, for sure we, we needed to come back now, even though we never left, but uh, but yeah, strong, strong performance. Starting first and finishing first is quite, quite nice. A super display from the young Finn, taking an 11th career win and extending his championship lead, heading into Rally Chile at the end of September. His closest rival will still be Evans, but the Welshman heads to South America 33 points behind his teammate. So Rovenpera on top once again ahead of Evans and a superb podium from Hyundai's Danny Sorda. Tanak fought well to finish fourth ahead of Lappi and Katsuta. And the WRC two win going to Mickelson, ahead of Greenspeed, Johan Roussel and Ogier rounding out the top ten.